Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial. And in today's video, I'm going to explain and show you guys how to set up multiple GTA 5 directories for running different mods and possibly back up your files as well. This video was requested by Danny Got This, so shout out to you. But we are going to dive right into this video. So the first thing we are going to do is just open up your GTA 5 directory, your main one that you have right now currently. So once you have opened that up, basically all you have to do is just go back a page in the file path. For me, it would be common. I am running GTA 5 off of Steam, by the way. So those that are running it off of Epic Games, it will be a different file path. But for people that are running on Steam, all you have to do is just go back a page. I did not mean to add this there, so let me delete that. In the common file path, you will see that I have multiple GTA 5 directories and Surgeon Simulator. Actually, I have one dedicated hard drive or SSD that holds all of my Grand Theft Auto 5 directories. So I have a hard drive literally just for GTA 5 um, and this game. You could see I have one, two, three, four, five GTA 5 directories. Each one holds a different purpose so to basically get this all you have to do is just copy and paste your main gta 5 directory literally all you do is just right click on your directory you copy it you right click in the open space and you paste it you'll literally just copy and paste your whole entire directory it'll take a few minutes depending on your hard drive speeds i run mine on an ssd so it is fairly quick but that is literally all you do and when you do copy and paste it let me make this real quick it'll look like this when you copy and paste it it will look like this so you can rename it to whatever you want now to explain how this works to run which directory this is how i do it so currently I am running 3442. This is what this folder is. If I want to run my 5M folder, all I have to do is go to my main one, rename it. I'm going to add 3442 LSPDFR, hit enter. So currently right now, I don't have a GTA 5 that Steam is reading off of. I have to select one now. So I rename this. I'm going to choose my 5M folder, right click, rename and delete just past that dash. You just want it to say Grand Theft Auto 5. So now when I refresh it, it's gonna go to the top. Steam is going to recognize this directory and you should be able to boot up the game with no problems. And the reason I have one specifically for 5M is because I like to keep my LSPDFR on its own directory. I don't like to run LSPDFR and 5M off the same directory, even though it's possible. Uh, I just prefer a clean directory when running 5M. That is it. That's literally how you run multiple directories. So whichever one you want to use, you just have to rename it. So if I'm going to go back to 3442, I'm just going to go here, rename this, add a dash, type in 5M, go back to my 3442, rename it, clear past the dash, and that's it you do not have to refresh i'm just doing this for organization purposes now you could boot up through rage and it'll recognize all of the mods scripts plugins that you have in that directory that's literally it copy and paste just the biggest thing is is you want to make sure you have enough ssd or hard drive space if you don't it won't be possible because typically your directory that's modded out is fairly large uh my gta 5 lspdfr directory is 151 gigabytes so just imagine copying and pasting that five times. That's quite a bit. Uh, but that is basically it for this video, guys. Really hope you understood it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Other than that, just hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.